Hi students, in today's video, I am going to explain about coordination compounds. Here we have NaCl or your table salt, sodium chloride. It is an example for simple salt. Now, if I add water into NaCl, what happens? Simple, it dissociates into Na plus ion and Cl minus ion. Now, there are class of salts which are combinations of two simple salts and they are called as double salts. Here we have an example for one such double salt. It is FeSO4 NH4 twice SO4 6H2O. You might have used this double salt in your lab and its name is ferrous ammonium sulfate or you can call it as FAS or the other name is Mohr salt. See it is a combination of two simple salts. One is ferrous sulphate, other one is ammonium sulphate. That's why it is called as a double salt. Now if I try to dissolve this double salt in water, what will happen? Since it is a combination of two simple salts, it can also dissociate completely giving the constituent ions. So we get ferrous ion from ferrous sulphate, ammonium ion from ammonium sulphate and sulphate ions. So here both simple salt as well as double salt are dissociating completely giving the constituent ions in water. But we have another set of uh, uh, compounds like this. The formula itself is very interesting. Some of the groups are enclosed within square brackets. Such salts are called as complex salts or they are commonly known as coordination compounds. Well, the name of this compound is potassium ferrocyanide. Now coming to the important thing, if I try to dissolve potassium ferrocyanide in water, what will I get? Just like these two salts, potassium ferrocyanide also undergoes dissociation, but it is not a complete dissociation. So what do we get here? Potassium ferrocyanide dissociates into potassium ion that is K plus ion and a complex ion. It is a combination of two groups. It is called as ferrocyanide ion. The interesting thing here is this ferrocyanide ion will not undergo further dissociation. That's why it is not possible to obtain Fe2 plus ions and Cn minus ions separately. So the important thing is Coordination compounds do not undergo complete dissociation in aqueous solutions. They will always be associated with a complex ion like this. But why is it so? The reason for this behavior is presence of very strong coordination bond between cyanide ions and Fe2 plus ions. So even when you try to dissolve potassium ferrocyanide in water, the presence of strong coordination bond between ion and cyanide does not allow it to undergo dissociation. So what is meant by coordination bond? It is a bond which is similar to covalent bond in which sharing of electrons takes place. But the speciality is that both the shared electrons are donated by one of the groups. Let me explain it clearly. In hydrochloric acid, we have a covalent bond between hydrogen and chlorine. As you know, in a single bond, two electrons are present. What is the speciality about covalent bond? Here, the bond, bond is formed by sharing of electrons. So in this bond, we have two electrons. First electron is contributed by hydrogen. Second electron is contributed by chlorine. After that, both the electrons are shared equally between hydrogen and chlorine. I told you that coordination bond is also similar to covalent bond. There also sharing of electrons takes place. If you take the example of this ferrocyanide complex ion, we have a coordination bond between ion and cyanide. So sharing of electrons takes place between Fe and cyanide. But both the electrons of the bond are contributed by cyanide ion only. So what is it? Cyanide initially donates two electrons or it contributes two electrons for coordination bond formation. Once contributed, both these electrons are equally shared between iron and cyanide. 
आई होप यू गॉट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉर्डिनेशन बॉन्ड एंड कोवलेंट बॉन्ड सो द कॉम्पाउंड्स विच कंटेन सच कॉर्डिनेट बॉन्ड्स आर स्टडीड एज कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्पाउंड्स दीज आर सम कॉमनली यूज कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्पाउंड्स दिस इज पोटेशियम फेरोसाइनाइड एंड दिस इज अनदर फेमिलियर कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्पाउंड निकल टेट्रा कार्बोनिल इवन इन नेचर वी कैन फाइंड कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्पाउंड्स क्लोरोफिल विच इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फोटो सिंथेसिस इन प्लांट्स इज अ कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ मैग्नीशियम सिमिलरली हीमोग्लोबिन विच इज गिविंग रेड कलर टू योर ब्लड और दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ह्यूमन रेस्पिरेशन इट इज अगेन अनदर कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स विच कंटेन्स आयन so coordination complexes have very great significance in our daily life also that's why studying the chemistry of coordination complex is very very important so that is about a small introduction on coordination compounds in the coming videos i'll explain more about chemistry and bonding in coordination compounds so thank you so much for watching